The man in the bathtub just winked at her. The woman took off all her clothes and stepped into the bathtub. I was relaxing on the couch after the bath. She was just picking up her glass of red wine when a voice came from the door. She thought it was Jun coming back, but it was Yunjin who came in. Everyone knows about Yunjin's relationship with Jun, but this is the time for Hai to declare her sovereignty. Hai now has the strength to be proud of himself because Yin Jin has started to lose under Dong Yoon's step-by-step -step revenge plan. What's more important is that Hai also has a hold on Yoon Jin's important weakness. Not long ago, Hai got my aunt's tablet. She wanted to see if she could find his whereabouts, but she accidentally came across a backup recording file. This is the recording of the night my aunt was knocked to death by Yin Jin because the recording was interrupted by a phone call. So the recording only contains the first half of their conversation, but it is enough to prove that Mayan was with Yin Jin on the night she disappeared. Hai immediately shared this recording with Jun, as if he had found a treasure. Hey, in turn, notice the top part of the recording. Mayan had chosen a bottle of good wine on purpose, but that bottle of wine has now disappeared. And when they checked the store surveillance, they found that all the data before October 19th had been erased. The employee also told him that Yin Jin had asked for the surveillance to be deleted. Jun combined all the clues to almost conclude that Mayan was most likely killed by Yin Jin in order to protect his daughter's future. This time he decided to sacrifice his mother to protect his daughter. Then he proposed to Hai. At the same time, Dong Yoon had already found out where Mayan's body was. When Anna was following the police, she found out that he had visited a funeral home that had been closed for three years twice. What's more suspicious is that the electricity consumption of this abandoned building has exceeded 5,000 this month, and the location of the electricity consumption is the morgue. The next day, Yoo Yoon used the power of money to buy the funeral home, which had been abandoned for three years. That day the police came to the funeral home again. He gave a management fee to the worker who was guarding the corpse. He did not bury Mayan in the ground as Yin Jin had requested. Instead, he kept Mayan as a bargaining chip for his own pension. Yeo Yun and Dong Yun, who became the new owners of the funeral home, soon saw Mayan's body here as well. They found that the body showed signs of being cleaned. So Yeo Yun had a plan. It turns out that he gave Yin Jin an injection at the clinic that day in order to remove the tissue near Yoon Jin's wound so that he could save it for future evidence. Anna's plan to get back at her husband is also in full swing in order to keep her daughter's departure from the country from being discovered. Anna had to stay at home and put up with her abusive husband. One day, she took out her backpack hidden in the corner in front of her husband. When her husband saw her sneaking around, he immediately pulled her back. He opened the backpack and found a large amount of cash inside, and a cell phone. Anna had to admit that the money was given to her by a woman after her husband scolded her, and asked her to send a text message to an unknown number. But Anna said the text message was very strange. She didn't dare to do it. The man sent the text message without even thinking about it, when he heard that he couldn't make money. It was Yongjin's mother who received the text message. The text message reads, I know your daughter killed someone. Apparently, this was all part of Dong Yoon's plan. The man is unaware that he is close to death. The woman is hallucinating and tries to talk to the snake in front of her. The next moment, the snake takes on human form. She kneels down and crawls towards the snake step by step. Then she fell to her knees at the man's feet. Slowly she begins to lose control. Sarah does something indecent in an abandoned church. Behind her, numerous flashing lights recorded what was happening at that moment. Dun Yoon was also watching quietly from a distance because she was the one who sent an anonymous text message to Sarah and told her that there was a good stuff hidden here. Sarah, who was addicted to drugs, could not control herself and fell into Dong Yoon's trap. Yin Jin also arrives at this moment. She looked at Dong Yoon's elaborate arrangement and disdainfully said that she was wasting her efforts. Sarah Kun then claimed to be a first-time offender. Even if Sarah is imprisoned, she will be released soon. 
This is not a way to destroy them. But Dong Yoon has done much more than that. At this moment, a post about a weather anchor bullying someone on campus has started to spread around the internet. Netizens are talking about it. People begin to analyze and guess who the weather anchor was. The post of school violence went viral on all cell phones. The netizens started to talk about the main character. Anna also joined in the fun. She posed a comment that the main character was weather anchor Park in Jin. In Jin also became the target of netizens' criticism instantly. She had to hide at the shrine where her mother used to go. In the end, only her husband Young came to pick her up. She asked Young if he would divorce her. Young said that he would not divorce her for the sake of the stock price. In order to stabilize the situation, he hired his company's legal team and public relations team to solve the crisis for Yin Jin. But Yin Jin, who has been in the acting world for a long time, knows the rule of thumb. She believes that the best response is not to respond in this situation. She surprised Young again with her ruthlessness. At the same time, Cyril was summoned for investigation because of the indecent video that went viral on the internet. Her father brought in the lawyers and she cursed at them. Sarah also refused to take a urine test. Sarah, who knew all these rules, knew that the police were arresting her on an emergency basis without a search warrant. However, she didn't expect her friends to be unreliable in this critical situation. I was the only one who came to visit Sarah. She also brought some news from outside. She said that Yongji's bullying case had been exposed, but some media manipulation made Sarah's indecent video to dominate the hot list. Then it was revealed that Sarah's gallery was cheating on her taxes. Since Sarah was temporarily taken home after the police investigation, her lawyer told her that if she continued to cooperate with the investigation, her sentence could be reduced. Sarah will soon give a big gift to Yin Jin who betrayed her. But Yin Jin is the first to receive a threat from the police when she is about to be separated from her family. Park Yeon Jin's main image in the second season is that of a dull-witted woman. The first betrayal she received was from the police who had been helping her. <laughs> However, when the police took her to the funeral home, Mayan's body was long gone. That's when Yin Jin received a call from Hai again. After handing up the phone, Yin Jin went crazy. She didn't expect that her most trusted cop would leave Mayan's body to blackmail her. And then he couldn't keep Mayan's body. What Jin Jin didn't expect was, Mayan's body was found at the exact spot where Yoon fell from the building. This was all an elaborate arrangement by Dong Yoon and Yoo Yoon. It wasn't until the next day that Yin Jin found out, she accidentally left her bag locket at the funeral home when she went crazy last night. She had to sneak back to the funeral home to look for the locket, so as not to leave any evidence. However, at that moment, Yin Jin was also confused. She didn't know why the plastic surgeon was here. Yo Yoon saw that she wasn't too smart and gave her a straight answer. He told her that he himself is the owner of this house. <laughs> Yin Jin was so embarrassed that she ran away immediately. She was just about to drive away when she realized the gate was locked. Yo Yoon said that there are always outsiders coming in lately, so he bought a new big lock. Yoon Jin's mind realized what was going on at that moment. She knew that she had fallen into their trap. Yo Yoon also gave her the pendant back at that moment. Dong Yoon also found Ran who works in a clothing store. In fact, Dong Yoon recognized Ren the first time he went to see Mayan. She was the target of Yoon Jin's bullying back then. At first it was Yoon, then it was Dong Yoon, and finally Ren. 
But Dong Yoon came here to ask Ren not to interface in this matter. It turns out that according to Dong Yoon's observation, Ren lived in the clothing store until my end disappeared on October 19th. But Ren moved to a small single room after that night.